What's up, everyone? Franklin Steele here with FanRagSports.com. Just got done with the shift at work. Just got out of the shower, but just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking to you guys about something that happened just before I had to go on on my shift, and that was the Arizona Coyotes sending down Dylan Strom. Um, and oddly enough, it's something that everybody feels like they need to chime in on, even though 90% of the people chiming in on it probably haven't watched a Coyotes game in the last year or two. Regardless, uh, it's a move that has sent not shockwaves, but it seems to be a move that has caught a lot of people off guard. And the refrain seems to be uh, one thing in particular out of the Toronto Maple Leafs crowd. They could have had Mitch Marner. They could have had Mitch Marner. They could have had Mitch Marner. And you know what? That's a totally fair fact. They totally could have had Mitch Marner. They also could have had Noah Hannafin. They also could have had Zach Rowinski, who went eight, who went at number eight to the Columbus Blue Jackets. The fact of the matter is, at that time, it would have been considered a reach across the board. Mitch Marner would have been considered a reach. Noah Hannafin would have been considered not a reach, but if the Coyotes would have wanted a defenseman, he would have been their guy. If they wanted a forward, Strom was the safe bet. Um, and a lot of people are taking this as kind of a, you know, uh, it's to mean that Strom's career with the Coyotes is, is essentially on the rocks. And you know what? I just don't buy that. This is a guy in his early 20s, and maybe he's not going to be the dominant number one center that the Coyotes hoped that he would be. But you know what? How many teams every year draft a center in the top five or the top ten hoping that he's going to be uh, that elusive number one center and whiff on him? probably happens it definitely happens more often than not at least half the teams in the league are in dire need of that top center it's probably the hardest position in hockey to fill you're not going to win a cup without that top line center and without that anchor of a defense on the blue line uh, the fact of the matter is that Arizona at worst has a really strong number three center in their system and they sent him down so he can get uh, the essential line minute or the essential playing time to uh, come up and, and play on a top line, top six, top nine. I don't think the organization is really all that worried about where they drafted him. They just want to develop him the best the way that they can. And right now, that's not at the NHL level. His decision making needs to be a little bit quicker. In short, he's probably not going to be that top six forward that a lot of a lot of uh, that, that the organization probably hoped he would be. Um, but that doesn't mean that he's a bust, nor does it mean that the Coyotes should be kicking themselves for passing on any of the other options. Because odds are good that if they hadn't had that pick, whoever did have that third overall pick would have picked. Strom or Hannafin at, at, at best, so um, or perhaps Mourner. But you know, again, in, in his draft year, the knock on Mourner was that he was too small. So he's clicking really well on a wing in Toronto, whereas Arizona really wanted to get one of those uh, a top six staple at, at center. And Strom still very well could be that. But they have Derek Stepan now, uh, who who is a top line center, and if they can get Christian Dvorak to play the, in the number two slot. And have Dylan Strom come up in a month, maybe two, and play that play in that number three hole. Then all of a sudden they're looking pretty down the middle of the ice. Now I know it's something that doesn't look that great. The optics stink. I, I'll be the first person to admit that. But I think that the overreaction has been uh, pretty astounding. Um, how many people are already wanting to write that kid off? So um, I would urge Coyotes fans to stay patient with him. And um, the, the general manager there has been fantastic about judging talent, understanding where talent is. Uh, this isn't the old regime or any of the old regimes that they've had in the past. Uh, Strom is going to be a number three or number four center at worst. Maybe he grows and evolves into a number two guy. Um, he's not a lost cause yet. He's just a couple years out from his draft year. And yeah, that, that whole top ten is in a great job job of establishing themselves as NHL regulars, but I, I don't think that Strom is a lost cause at all. So I would say, uh, you know, stay patient, and I, I think you're going to see him back in the NHL real soon, making decisions at higher speed. He's an electric offensive talent, could be a real force on the power play, could be a very interesting cog on a powerful third line, um, and, and we'll see what ends up happening with him. But uh, that's all I wanted to say, way in there. Um, if you think I'm off base and you think Strom is a lost cause, let me know in the comments down below. If you you think he's going to be a dynamite top five center and i'm off base there let me know in the comments down below as always i'm here for conversation and i just want to hear what you guys think thanks a lot